Hey y'all, N4H and H here. Check it out. I left the HF clock running because I knew that there was a, a new update coming to correct the problem where it was in a perpetual state of restarting. And you'll see the timer up there. And it says new version 3.09. So the, de the developers contacted me and told me they had figured out what was going on. It only was happening to the HF clocks, the uh, running what's called the ESP unit, uh, the ESP processor. And I'm going to go ahead and click yes to update. Um, and while it does that, I'll, uh, I'll explain. So it was in a state of perpetual just restarting. And uh, it would it would begin to load the panes, you know, the little the windows with all the different information. But just before it would start to load the map, it would crash. And there's something called a watchdog timer. It would time out. Uh, not to get too technical about it. Uh, there there was there's a detailed explanation about it from the developer. But fortunately, uh, it wasn't bricked in a sense that the uh, it checks for an update, and you know, as long as you've had a, had an established connection to uh, a Wi-Fi in the past, you know, so it's it's got that in there. Of course, you can also uh, go into the menu and set that, even when it kept restarting. Well, what it does is when it gets to the startup screen and starts loading things, it will check for an update. And it found it, it, it detected the update, and that's what you saw on my screen. And so now it's loading version 3.09. I can already see that displayed up here. So this should allow, here we go. All right, you see loading the panes. Now it wouldn't load the uh, space weather that I had assigned here, and it wouldn't load the map before it would time out. Um, so let's see what happens. And it does say version 3.09. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, I, th I was hoping it was fixed. Let me... making sure I have everything set the way I want. Uh, I had it kind of trimmed down to bare necessities. All right, we'll go with that. Let's just let it try it again. Checking the other ham clocks, the one running on the PC and the one running on the... Uh, uh, on the Innovato Quadra. They don't show the update yet as available. You can tell when it shows up in, in red here, the, the version number. They're still running version 3.08. I mean, they're working fine. Ah, there we go. So we got the space weather, we got the map generating now. So it just had to do uh, uh, one more restart after, I guess, you know, after it downloaded the update. That's good. It's good that they've written it in such a way that uh, even though the watchdog timed out in this situation, it checks for a new version. And uh, since in, in this case it found the new version and the new version fixed the issue. So it's nice to have the HF clock uh, back up and running again. Now it doesn't have all of the new features that are gonna be available through the PC version, or when I say PC, it's Linux, but you run it on a PC. I'm using Ubuntu to emulate Linux. Um, and you've seen that one in some of my videos. And then you've got, I've got the Innovato version that's running on a dedicated little computer. Uh, those are fully functional, and I say fully functional, they have all of the features. The processor in this uh, ESP unit, as it's called here, here from Viridium, it has the wooden case, uh, is not strong enough or robust enough to run some of the new features. Uh, we have pan and zoom and, you know, it looks cool, huh? Look at that. It's good to have it back up and running. All right. Uh, well, I wanted to give you guys an update on the end of the saga. This began Saturday morning with version... 3.07 being released, then 
the server went down before I could even install it. Then I finally got 3.07 installed for the PC version. And uh, let me move the camera here and I'll show you. So there's the PC version running. So I got 3.07 on it. And then um, eventually it, it showed up, you know, like I said, there's the version running on the, uh, uh, that's from the o Innovato uh, little PC, that little bitty, let me move the camera so you can see it. Uh, it's right there, that little unit there. Uh, so the, uh, you know, those versions eventually did show up. You see the 3.8 there, version 3.08. There we go, 3.08. That eventually turned red when it was 3.06. It turned red, I updated, and it went to 3.08 because um, for some reason, by the time three point, by the time this thing went red, 3.08 was already available, and in which it was uh, pushed out really quick yesterday, yesterday being Saturday. Uh, 3.07 came out yesterday morning, server was down, server came by, back up in the afternoon. And by the time this unit was notified of an update, it went from 3.06 to 3.08. Uh, again, the PC version over here went to, uh, you know, it got, a, it got an update, a notification first. That version was on 3.06 and it turned red, I updated, it went to 3.07. Then the lastly, the HF clock version went red, and it was 3.06. It went red, and when it updated, it updated to 3.08. So my understanding is 3.07 came out. There was another little hiccup with it, so they released 3.08 on the same day, and then I alerted them to the failures going on this this perpetual restarting i shot a video for them and they were able to glean enough information from that to do some detective work and figure out what happened and here you go i, I filmed it as i did it so you could see that the hf clock is now up and running again let me show you what's changed a little bit with this release and it really it began with 3.07 there's some new features introduced now you won't see them all on the hf clock but on the Innovato version and the one running on uh, my PC over here, you can zoom and recenter, which is uh, kind of like a pan. Once you zoomed in, then you click on the screen and you can recenter. What we have now is remember, we uh, on this unit here, we could just tap with our stylus and it would move the green dot wherever we were and give us the DX information. So I'm going to click up here somewhere around Alaska. Now you get a pop up that says set DX. Now on the other units that had the faster processors, that also has the option to zoom in, or and if you've zoomed in, then there's an option for zoom out. There's a reset. This unit's not going to be able to do that. So now you have a set DX or set DE. Now be careful with that set DE. If you if you do that, you move your your little orange circle here that represents where you are. I, I accidentally did that with the other units, and um, you know then you got to go back into the menu and set your your grid coordinates here. So be careful with that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and tap here, and I'll, I'll leave it on set DX. I'll hit OK. And, well, did I miss it? There we go. And now it has to refresh. See, this takes a long time on this HF clock version. You're probably not going to want to fool with this. I just set this one and forget it. I just set it to things I want to see, like space weather, the sun, soda, VOA cap. VOA cap really, um, that information there is based upon where I just tapped. So it's letting me know that that part of the United States I just tapped on there where the green dot is, I have coverage. This is right now and I have coverage on 10 through 80 meters. So that's what, that's what you can do with this as it is. And then all the other information, you know, you just leave up there and then you watch, you can watch the map. You don't really do a lot of interacting with this unit because it has to do this refresh every time. But anyway, there you go. Version 3.09. It's finally working again. Hey, I want to show you one other thing. I switched to this option. Okay, I'm going to tap terrain. I'm using terrain right now. Now, you know me. I like muff map, maximum usable frequency. But I've got that set on one of the other units. 
so I'm using terrain here, but I just want you to see, see this shape here? Select Robinson, Robinson down here in the bottom choices right there, and then uh, click OK. I'm going to cancel because I've already done it. And you'll get this look here, kind of an oval look. I just think it looks cool. All right, hey, thanks for watching videos on my channel. Please hang around for about a half a minute or so. I want to recognize five of the Patreon team members that I call long haulers. Uh, they have supported this channel for a year, two, or more. Some of them are uh, well over three years now. Without them, you wouldn't have seen this video or hundreds of others. So please stand by and uh, let me recognize five of those members. Thanks again for watching videos on my channel. And this is N4H&H saying 73.